Hello, my name is Michael Driscoll, and in this tutorial, you will be learning how to use Debix Python to create a text control that flashes and changes text. So, normally when you are working on code of this nature, you will want to uh, use Python's random module. So we'll go ahead and import that. We'll import time as well. And then of course we need to have access to Debix Python code as, as well. So as usual, we will have a nice little Debix panel. And then we need to initialize it. Panels almost always need a parent. Let's see, so let's go ahead and create our init. Whoops. And we'll give it the parent, whatever that may be. We'll set up a font of some sort. Let's see, let's do a wx.font. We'll set it to 12 point. we we'll use a default. And normal font. You could probably set this to bold if you wanted to. But we'll just go with normal for now. We'll give us a label now. Let's see. I change a lot. How about that? All right, so this will be the text that we will be changing often to make our code do something kind of interesting. All right, so now we need to actually use that string and put it into something that's visible to the user. So to do that, we will create a static text uh, widget. So this is kind of a label in Debrex Python, static text. We will give its parent as the frame and set the label to our label here. And then we will set the font to the font that we just created. This allows us to change fonts dynamically later on if we want to. And last but not least, we will create a timer and attach it to the panel. And with timers, you have to bind them to an event like um, wx.eventTimer. We'll bind it to a function, self.update. And we'll tell, all right, so here's what's going on here. When you bind the timer to a panel, you're actually telling uh, WX Python to do a little bit backwards. So self.bind uh, binds the event timer event to the panel, but targets it to the timer, basically. So in effect, you're, you are binding the event, but you're kind of redirecting it through the panel to the timer. It's kind of weird. But that's how you do it when you bind an event outside of the frame. So we'll say 1,000, which is about once a second. Let's go ahead and put that in our comment. Once a second, that will fire. All right. So now let's create our update function. Self.update, or just update, I mean. And let's create some colors. So just use some traditional colors, blue and red and green. Let's add orange to the mix. Uh, let's try pink. I think pink supported. Then we'll change our text. Set label to self.label again. That just resets the string. And then we'll set our flashing text to set foreground color. And we'll set that to our randomly chosen color. All right. So now we're almost done. We just need to create a frame to hold our class in. Let's call it my frame, wx.frame. All right, so I'm just gonna grab this code here and change it slightly. Copy and paste. Frames don't need a parent, so this can go away. This can be changed. And then we can just say panel equals my panel. Oops. I can't see autocomplete for some reason. There we go. And then we'll show the frame. All right, finally, we just need to create our application object. So we'll add this to the code at the bottom. If name equals main, app equals wx.app, false. Frame equals my frame, and then we'll create the main loop. 
All right, let's save this. We'll call this flasher.py and then we'll give it a go, see if it works. All right, so now our program has popped up and you can see that the text is changing different colors up here uh, about once a second. Sometimes the random, the randomizer like grabs the same color multiple times. But anyway, the color appears to work the way that we want it to. Um, if you're interested in this code and checking it out, you can um, go to my GitHub account and look up Daybreak's recipes. Otherwise, uh, feel free to add a comment, and I'll see you guys around.